Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Sharmila Mulligan. Sharmila, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, so you're the CEO and founder of Clear Story Data. That's correct. And can you tell us a little bit, I, I, we've talked in the past, yes. but for people who haven't heard, what do you guys do? Okay, so before I go into what we do, let me tell you the big market problem we see. So what you see right now is most companies, especially enterprise companies, trying to combine somewhere between five and 15 data sources. And these data, this data is living in silos that they've developed over time in their organizations. They're in their data RDBMS systems, their EDWs, their SAP systems, their Hadoop systems, uh, a lot in their CRM systems. And what they're struggling with right now is how do they actually bring all this data together to get a holistic view of what is happening in the business as it happens. And then deliver that insight or that information to the business directly without having to wait for a long cycle where people are prepping data, modeling data, and then finally delivering a dashboard. So the big urgency out there is, you know, bring all this data together faster, make it possible for the business to see it immediately, let them see it and make a decision on what they should do and how they should act, because they're the domain experts and they know what they see and they know what they should do. So as a result of that, you know, what ClearStory is focused on and what we have always been focused on is really these three problems. First, how do you access and blend disparate data quickly? Yep. And what we've done is we have built that piece of it inside a Spark engine that allows you to now access a lot of disparate data and combine it very fast and see results very quickly because it's powered with you know, all the processing speed that Spark, Spark has. So that's the first piece of it. We call this piece of the product data harmonization because it's literally bringing smarts to how data is accessed blended and then brought to the business user. The second piece uh, of what we do is how the information is actually delivered to the business user. So we have built a ready, business ready front end that anybody can use, you can use it, anyone here can use it. It doesn't require any specialized skill set. You don't need to know SQL, you don't need to know any kind of technical uh, data savvy language. You can go ahead and consume your insights and actually go and even iterate on them without needing the help of data specialists. And the front end, in addition to that, is almost designed like a consumer app. So it's very easy to learn. You can figure out how to use it in minutes. You can get going and exploring your insights very fast. And that gets me to the third part of what Clistery does, which is what we call ad hoc exploration. So when you see an insight in Clear Story, which you see through what we call storyboards, you can go ahead and use your own cockpit controls to go and explore the data and explore the analysis and discover what you need to be looking for. And you're doing this while data is updating, so it's doing it on the freshest data. You're not discovering on old stale data because mm -hmm. If you go and do a discovery on all stale data, it doesn't matter, it's too late to affect anything because it's a past event. What you're doing in um, Clear Stories Exploration is actually looking at the freshest data and you're seeing what's happening as it happens and you're able to then uh, make a decision, act, collaborate with others in real time, make sure that you're seeing the right thing, making the right decision, and go ahead and affect the business. So it starts with what I call data harmonization, which is bringing many data sources yep. together. Um, the second part of it is then how you go ahead and give people these business ready insights. The third part of it is how they can do this ad hoc exploration on the insights without, and all of this is done without data specialists. The net result is more data, more speed for everyone in the business. And that's what we are entirely focused on. And are you seeing any certain industry verticals uh, wanting this more than others? Absolutely. Or? So industries that are very highly competitive with each other mm -hmm. tend to need the speed, they tend to need the more data piece of it and they want to empower the business faster. They want the business to see for themselves what is going on through their data. So the industries that are really rise to the top are packaged goods, 
because they compete fiercely um, on every single product in the grocery store with yeah. their competitor. Shelf space, yeah. Shelf space, uh, what is going on in online, offline trends. trends. Is there in enough inventory on a store for a big buying day? Is there not? Did their competitor drop price by 10 cents? And if so, is it causing the consumer to buy their product versus their uh, the competitor product? The other place we see the same thing is e-commerce and retail. Mm -hmm. Highly competitive online in-store analysis, right? You go look up a product online because you saw an ad or promotion, are you buying it online or are you going to the nearby store that's five miles away and buying it, right? Does that nearby store have enough inventory to service your need as yep. a result of that promotion? Intense competition and uh, all of retail, whether you're small, medium, large national retail, they're experiencing the same problem. How do they capture the consumer fast? How do they make them buy? And then where are they buying, right? Yeah. The other industry we see a similar trend is pharma, and mostly around drug analysis and getting um, drugs to market faster. And in that case, it's a lot of location-based analysis. So are people um, seeing or suffering from a certain medical issue in one zip code more than another? Yep. Is it due to food or stress or what is going on? Environmental right. factors. And as a result, is that drug being prescribed more in certain areas versus others? And then how can they improve the drug based on these demographic patterns and environmental factors they're seeing? So they want to do very, very quick analysis of prescriptions and then how prescriptions are picked up and what drugs are being prescribed more in which area. Are they for kids? Are they for teenagers? Are they for adults? Um, what are the environmental factors contributing to this? And then similarly for clinical trials. The speed at which they can actually analyze a trial and then accelerate the results. Because if you can accelerate the results out of a trial, you can get to market faster. A week faster in releasing a drug or a month faster is billions of dollars, right, to some of these companies. So this is all top line growth. Yeah, excellent. Sharmila, you guys are doing some great work and, and a great platform you have here. We look forward to seeing how this evolves in the future. Absolutely, thanks so Thank much, you so much for talking today.